Welcome to the premiere episode of our eighth season of Native Report. I'm Stacy Thunder. Artist Joe Gieshik passed away in 2009, but he left with us many gifts and his spirit lives on. An exclusive showing of a select number of his paintings was held at the Edge Center for the Arts in Big Fort, Minnesota. Several of these paintings have never been seen before in public. On this late spring evening, the showroom at the Edge Center for the Arts in Big Fork, Minnesota is bustling with friends, family, and admirers of the late artist Joe Gizek. It really made me cry to see all these paintings here. You know, I'm really glad that we're able to put this show on and um, pay this tribute to him. This is the third year memorial for him. And it's like seeing long lost relatives. I keep looking at the feeding of the spirit because uh, he painted that one in 1999. And I remember him painting that painting. And, you know, I remember the, the friend the man that bought the painting and I remember the making of the prints you know and the opening for the print and taking these prints to shows uh, in Arizona and New Mexico and Indiana and you know the reactions and responses the way it touched people's lives um, a lot of people would buy this painting saying they just lost someone close to them and they would look at the feeding of the spirit and they would tear up and they wanted to have it because it helped them. So it's a very powerful painting and to see the original painting again is, is it's a powerful experience. The exhibit, titled Journeys, is a one artist show featuring a rare selection of several paintings and sketches, many from private collections presented in a chronological format. Well, this is a collection of Joe Gishik paintings. They are all from private collectors who have graciously shared their treasures with us at the Edge Center. This group has never been shown together. Several have never even been seen in public. I'm extremely pleased that people feel the same way about the paintings that I do and that Leanne does and all of his friends do. So it's, it's great affirmation of what we're doing here tonight. The way that the curator Karen um, arranged them is like kind of chronological and so it starts out with the early painting and, and, the, and the second painting, the, the one of the chief that, and you know Joe only used the pipe in that painting, he uh, painted the pipe, he um, had a commitment he made not to use the pipe or medicine bundles in his paintings. And so the next painting, the revision, has him holding the branch. And, and then the owner of that painting was the, the, our friend Mike Grossman, and he wrote you know, this, the history of that. So to see that and the coming together of all these people, um, old friends are here, his relatives are here, his son is here, one of his two sons, his grandson is here. I think it's beautiful, I love it. Uh, I'm only seeing only the paintings that Leanne has of my dad's work, and to see them all here, just speechless. The feeling of the spirit that gets me all the time. Um, the first time seeing it, I just loved it. Joe used earth tone colors in paintings that are full of symbolism. The circle represents the creator. The single wisp of smoke represents communication between the earthly plane and the spirit world. He's visualizing. He's outwardly uh, portraying his internal uh, feelings towards the, the culture and the, uh, and the spirituality that he had um, as far as uh, uh, attaining his, uh, his, uh, his spirituality through, his, through the uh, ceremonies that he went through. And, uh, but one of the things he doesn't do is portray any of the um, icons, the sacred icons that you use in, 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 these, uh, in, in the ceremonies. His greatest contribution is, is his body of work. It takes great courage, and he is a man of great courage. I mean, it, you know, just to, <laughs> you, you have to find time to do the work, and you have to have the uh, inspiration 
to, to do the work and to sit down and get it done. I mean, it, it, it's just, I mean, with his, uh, in his style, I mean, it's, it's quiet strength. I mean, um, Patrick DeJarley, um, Frank Big Bear, um, uh, Jim Denemy, Carl Gavoy. I mean, uh, there's a lot of color in, the, in those, in a lot of strength in those paintings and those people's work. But he's utilizing a very uh, limited palette and uh, the strength is just, is there. It's overwhelming. It's, it's, he, he was an incredible artist. Looking at her husband's works of art brings back memories of Joe for Leanne. Like when I look at the Peaceful Warrior, um, he painted that um, shortly before he had heart surgery and it was in the winter and the man that wanted that, he wanted a painting of a warrior and he didn't um, specify what kind of uh, image other than a warrior and Joe painted the peaceful warrior and he was the peaceful warrior so I, I feel that he didn't paint it as a self-portrait but it really is a self-portrait. Everybody's come back together and, and like the welcoming painting, he painted it for his friends and relatives, you know, and so this is, it's very healing, it's very healing. We say his spirit lives on, but we can feel it when we're with these paintings. <laughs>